What's going on dudes, Graydon here, and I want to wish everyone a happy 4th of July and celebrate your independence today because that's pretty much what it's all about today. And to you, over 21 and, yeah, over 21, be safe, don't drink and drive. I know that whole situation is pretty nasty. I should know, <laughs> but uh, yeah, dudes. Um, pretty much. I just want to wish everybody, my fans, my subscribers, my thumbs uppers, my likers, and whatever, <laughs> my commenters, a happy Fourth of July to everyone, and pretty much just everyone around America, pretty much, you know. And uh, actually, one funny story that I actually want to share is about like five or six years ago on the Fourth of July. When I used to live in Texas, it was a small town called Venus, Texas. We were shooting some fireworks with the family and shit, and then um, I, we had the boxes. It was all good. We left them in the backyard. We we used to live in like in a, in a big, um, grassy, dry grass area in Texas, and and um, it was really bad because one of the fireworks somehow caught on fire to the boxes in my backyard that we left on the porch in the back porch and everybody was inside relaxing and then all of a sudden my cousin notices outside the window there's a fire just says it like that she doesn't be like oh my god there's a fire no she says there's a fire in the backyard just like that calm like nothing's happening it's like nobody's gonna die just there's just a fire no worries yeah my house is burning down but you're, it's it's just a fire but yeah dudes um it's funny like my mom freaked out uh everybody was like going crazy the neighbors from the backyard because uh we have we, ha we lived in acres and there's like a like um not that many fences you can actually see the backyard of the other neighbors pretty much the yeah our neighbors <laughs> and uh they called the fire department for us the fire department was there and phew, less than five minutes boom they put out the fire and it's funny so i forgot somebody asked me to ask the fire department the firefighters to ask them if they're gonna charge us to put the fire out what, what kind of question is that am i really gonna pay to do your job like I don't know I, I can't remember who asked me if it was my cousin or I, I really don't remember but we lived nobody died but another funny thing is we my dog went was under my house at the time I have I, I used to have three dogs one dog was out in the front because I know that he was tied up in the front uh, the second dog he cries and runs like crazy so I know he ran towards the front because he was with us. Toby, my Labrador, Labradoodle, his ass was under the house during the entire fire. I swear to God. The firefighters even said the dog's dead. Da 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 da. -da. We're sorry for your loss of the puppy dog, whatever. And I was like, oh my God, I, I almost cried. I was holding it in, like I didn't, I didn't want to like cry. But um, it turns out ten minutes later after the fire was out, the fire fires literally found him well he didn't find him he came out black like i'm not even kidding pitch black as the night sky he came out i mean and my dog is white as snow he came out black i'm not even kidding it's like somebody just threw on like spray paint all over him or a sharpie all over him it was, it was unbelievable but we all we were safe and uh pretty much uh, we got everything covered. We had to fix everything up. I mean, we, we could still live in the house, you know, but it was just temporary that for, for at the moment, we, we stayed for a few days somewhere else. So, like, all the smoky smell can, like, release all those fumes out of the house. But it was all good. Um, it started from the back, and then uh, it slowly started advancing to the front of the house. But luckily, it didn't hit none of the bedrooms and stuff like that. But only it hit... It hit part of the kitchen um and pretty much destroyed the laundry room and the back porch and a couple a lot of our tools because um my family's big on like 
uh, working on the shop and construction and stuff like that and all of our tools were gone and I was like wow like that's crazy you know I actually had a mini ramp in the backyard when in my skating days when I used to skate and that thing burned down I was kind of bummed out because I mean I built that mini ramp my well not myself but like with like my friends and family and stuff and like it was gone my skateboard my rails all rusted burnt to, to the crisp and it was sad moment for me but um hopefully yeah like i said we all came alive it was pretty good and that's pretty much i wanted to warn everybody be careful today tonight right now as i'm making this video i hear all the fireworks go boom here boom there boom here I'm like boom everywhere like i just want to tell everybody be careful and i know a lot of you are drinking 21 and over be safe drink don't drink and drive <laughs> i almost said drink and drive don't D O N T don't drink and drive. You will regret it. I should know. No, I'm just <laughs> but uh, uh yeah, you young kids, like I said, you know, keep it in the streets, make sure adult supervision is there. Um have fun. I know a lot of you are barbecuing, a lot of you are having drinks, a lot of you with the family, a couple of you are going to parties and stuff like that. You know, be safe on your way back home and stuff. And uh, I, I really just want to uh, wish everybody a happy 4th of July once more. And um, yeah, dudes, like, comment, subscribe. And <laughs> uh, happy 4th of July, everybody. And uh, peace out.